Welcome to my channel, Living Linux. Today I installed the new Debian image for the Mikrotronics R58. And this one has the rock chip driver built in. But that also means that we are on kernel 5.10. So what I noticed was that I had to change the sound settings. And as you can see, we're now on a 4K resolution. And it says analog output, built-in audio, but you have to pick the other one, which is named the same. So they've shipped it with an older version of Chromium because with the older version, then the hardware video decoding is still working. So here you can see that we're on version 91. And when we check Chrome GPU, then you can see that the video decode is hardware accelerated. So that's good. So when we try to test the WebGL Aquarium, then you can see that there are some glitches. And when you play this on a 1080p screen, then it works better. But when you go up to 5000 fishes also there, then you will see some glitches here and there. But um, I guess that that's something that they still need to work on. Now, when we try to test a Big Buck Bunny video in 4K, And we'll look at the stats for nerds. So once it has initialized, then there's no more dropped frames. So, yeah, when you really want to have the rock chip driver with Linux, then it is possible, but yes, it's still a work in progress, um, but it looks promising. And one of the other things is, is that um, they sent me the files to activate or support UEFI and that would make it possible to also boot other mainline Linux distributions. Um, yeah, when you go to mainline then uh, you will lose the rock chip driver. Uh, but we'll have to see um, what it is capable of without the rock chip driver. Um, who knows that the OpenGL performance is still okay. Uh, with a bit of luck, uh, we might get Vulkan support. But as a first version with the rock chip driver, I think this looks promising. Yeah, it's not perfect. 
uh, like we saw with the WebGL Aquarium, there are glitches. But I guess um, it's promising. Um, but probably my next step will be UEFI boot and see if we can get some other mainline distributions working. So that's all for now. And I hope to see you again in my next video.